What's up, guys? As you can see, this is your boy Forever Gaming, DHC's Forever, whatever you want to call me, Mr. Simp. You know, and we're back with another video. This video is a patch note update type of thing, Majigger, for Infinite Warfare. It's on all consoles, and it's a pretty big update. It's 1.9 gigabyte update. So, recommend hopping on and getting that download if you're still playing the game. Um, this is, uh, I think the very beginning, let's like, move my monitor a little bit down, this is just a recorded earlier, so I'm not gonna be really talking with you guys, and just kinda watch, I'm gonna talk about some other stuff, and at the very end, if I have enough time, I'll go ahead and go over some other new stuff that's popped out, you know, of the blue, but if I don't have enough time, I don't know the fuck I said blue, but if I don't have to, enough time, then I'll go ahead and, uh, I probably won't do any video on it, depending on how, how big it is, it just depends, but for the most part, Let's go and get this thing started. So, first off, it's Patch Notes version 1.08 for Infinite Warfare, now live on PS4 uh, and Xbox One. New multiplayer ranks and more. Okay. Oh, mission team ranks, that's my fault. <clears throat> Actually, I saw that earlier and I freaked out. I was like, multiplayer ranks already? You know, because I usually like two, I usually already have Master Prestige and I not, do not have it yet, which is ridiculous. I just not, have not had time. And I'd freak out if they had some new ranks already. But move on, let's get going and get to this thing. Um, look at this, a new patch update version 1.08 for Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. It's now live on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, uh, and Xbox One. This The patch is around a 2 gigabyte update. Size may vary on platforms. Patch notes. Mission team ranks. Each mission team now goes up to rank 100. Once you hit low 50 rank, you, will, you can go on to chase after commander rank until you reach mission team commander rank 100. New ranks, better rewards. So Commander ranks will reward you with MK2 versions of Mission Team only prototype weapons. Once achieved, uh, you, you can also craft more. Uh, Commander ranks reward salvage every level you rank up as long as as long as that level isn't giving you a Mark II prototype reward. So pretty much what this is saying is you're pretty much going to get the prototype version, the Mark II um, prototype version of the Mission Team rank. So say the Gemini, right? So say you hit level 100, you'll get the pro the prototype version, um, you get the Mark II version of the Gemini. Excuse me. Um, so be looking forward for that in every rank you'll be getting salvage. That's actually a really, really dope thing. A lot of people talk about ways to get salvage. You're not used to get that with the lower ranks. So that's really dope, especially for someone like me that has every rank done, or every mission team done. That's really, really dope for me because uh, getting salvage is uh, obviously pretty useful. But moving on, uh, featured features update. Leaderboards uh, that will be out before uh, 131, so the end, basically the end of the month. And you all know what combat records and emblem editors are uh, coming late next month. Then uh, feature content and what's new. This is there's double XP and double we double weapon XP and double uh, XP for zombies and multiplayer all weekend. That's also the same thing for uh, COD 4. So you guys play COD 4 Remastered, hit that thing up. And then uh, there's hyper team deathmatch. They add hyper team deathmatch. Uh, it's going to be here till February 3rd. The payload charge rates are bumped up to seven times their normal speeds on all platforms. That's actually fairly dope. And then I might end up trying that thing because it sounds pretty dope. You know, we could also get a lot of challenges done too. So I recommend hitting that thing up. Uh, Call of Duty World League World League Personalization Pack pretty much is like 300 CP, I believe it is. Just hit that thing up if you want to go ahead and get that. Usually those those packs are gonna be really cool. I don't know what this one's gonna look like, but I know the one in Advanced Warfare is pretty dope. Um, moving on, uh, general fixes, added ability for both split screeners to players to change their own mission teams and lobbies before match starts, safeguard against jitter, jitter mod exploits, defender fix for exploit that could occur if a player you, player you're using, uh, using rewind spawns on a newly spawned defender drone, allowing the player to carry the, their gun as they carry the drone, that's interesting, I never knew that, adjust the taunt menu to wrap to the bottom of the list, okay. Uh, during the final kill cam, the team emblem will show uh, emblem emblem shown was the emblem of the user who died rather than the player who got ki got the kill. This has been fixed. Hardcore search and destroy fix for friendly fire is not tolerated. Displaying after every round of, of for the remainder of the game. Added ability to equip calling card and emblem after acquiring them from supply drop. Um, oh, that's pretty. Wait. A bit added ability to equip calling card and um, after acquiring them from a supply drop. Can we do that before? I'm not gonna question it. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, camel challenges involving direct impact kills with oh my god, pause because this is literally my last launcher. I swear to god, this thing is the hardest thing ever. I swear they bear above the same. Camel challenges involving direct impact kills with how we're not tracking. This has bitch, this ain't this shit for me. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm mad right now. I'm really mad right now. Low key though. Um, I guess maybe I was get, getting the kills and it wasn't really counting for me. But honestly, it was just hard. It's just hard as hell to get direct impact kills. Period. That thing is ridiculous. And you're gonna be grinding for that for days to get that thing done. It's ridiculous. Um, but going ahead and getting this, the keeping this going. Uh, various updates to weapon camos. Fix for weapons. SPM not being calculated. Uh. Score per minute, by the way, not being calculated correctly in some instances. Camo adjustments for the MK2 wreck not covering the right side of the weapon. Allow players to skip mission team videos even if it is their first time seeing them, which is pretty cool. Fix the KBS Hairbringer reload animation playing twice while holding down both triggers. Fixing the issue where the jammer grenade was not damaging score streaks correctly. Fix an error a player an error player would receive when attempting to edit a class with the OSA. Um, fix the issue where the player with the Kimbo weapons were immune to the Steel Dragon. That's actually crazy. Uh, then there's CWL and Codcaster stuff. Uh, what this goes ahead and does next is it's a uh, fix for teams' colors not appearing in the proper shade. Add CWL specific game mode icons. Fix for cold blood not affecting thermal scoping for casters. Xbox adjusting. The position of game mode icons on the uplink images that does not stretch. Removing the required number of players for CWL matches. Allow the multiplayer casters in the same lobby. Woo! Got thing done. I have like 10 seconds left for this video is done. Thank you for watching the video. You guys have a great day. Uh, hopefully I can get this all time better, you know. But you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. Peace.